The Swedish FA reported that Manchester United prospect Anthony Alanga said he was racially abused by an Italy under-21 player while playing for Sweden U-21s in Monza on Tuesday. Alanga was in action for Sweden under-21s on Tuesday night as they held their Italian counterparts to a 1-1 -to draw in Monza. The draw meant Sweden stayed top of their Euro U21 qualifying group, but afterwards Alanga said he had received abuse during the match from one of Italy's players. The Swedish FA said it had submitted a report to the referees and match delegates and was awaiting feedback. The governing body gave its backing to the 19-year-old winger, and also reported the alleged incident to police, according to Swedish outlet SVT Sport. Sweden under-21 boss Klaus Eriksson said in a statement, We have told our version of what happened and have submitted an oral report to both the referees and the match delegates. We are now waiting for feedback through the match report and the referee report. Once they have arrived, we decide how to proceed. Safety manager Martin Fredman is also informed of what has happened. He added, No one should have to be exposed to racism, it is completely unacceptable. We all stand behind and support Anthony in this. Alanga was booked in the dying moments of Tuesday's draw as Sweden celebrated a last gasp equaliser from Tim Preka. It is unclear when the alleged racist abuse occurred. The alleged incident in Italy comes as FIFA condemned the disturbances which marred England's World Cup qualifying draw against Hungary. And the violent scenes at the Albania v Poland match in the same group, the Metropolitan Police confirmed that a man was arrested on suspicion of racial abuse at Wembley. The Met said in a statement, shortly after the start of tonight's match at Wembley. Officers entered the stand to arrest a spectator for a racially aggravated public order offence following comments made towards a steward. Football's world governing body said in a statement, FIFA is currently analysing reports of last night's FIFA World Cup qualifier matches in order to determine the most appropriate action. FIFA strongly condemns the incidents at England v Hungary and Albania v Poland and would like to state that its position remains firm and resolute in rejecting any form of violence as well as any form of discrimination or abuse. FIFA has a very clear zero-tolerance stance against such abhorrent behaviour in football. Quote, 